Hello everyone, this is the Pretend Critic and again, thank you for watching my channel. So, I was looking and I've been tracking Aquaman and see his box office as the surprise uh, hit of the season or the year of 2018 and it's about to hit the billion dollar mark. But I want to talk about something, something that was very interesting to me. I don't know if it's interesting to you, but it is interesting to me of how Hollywood is out of touch. It's the upside. So stay tuned. So again, hello everyone. Uh, what does the upside box office ticket sales show you about Hollywood? And what is it doing and who won with the Oscar fiasco of Kevin Hart. Um, before I do that, please hit and subscribe to support my channel. So there's something that I think that is happening because I am in, I used to be in LA, so probably I would have never seen this because LA is more liberal, but in middle America, Hollywood is being seen as out of touch. And with the Kevin Hart debacle, both sides it has shown that America is really split when I went to my Thursday screening by the way I have a review down below just hit that and you'll see it the upside was supposedly number two uh, earning probably 10 to 12 million dollars and was supposed to be earning less than Aquaman and Aquaman is supposed to be to, to the surprise now, the tracking is that it would beat Aquaman by two or three million. And I think from if you guys follow the social media and Twitter, um, Kevin Hart was attacked and was supposed to um, do the Oscar. But he was how people look at it. And if you are up there, they'll always try to look for something. Um, again, I'm not saying that whatever tweets he had was right. I'm not that, and I'm not going to say to you that it was right or wrong, if he should uh, apologize or not, but I respect his uh, I respect his principles of sticking to his gun, saying that he had already apologized. Uh, for me, I would have just apologized once, put it in the air, and that's it, and if no one accepts that, that's fine. I'm not going to be like what Don Lemon said in CNN, you have to apologize every time. No put it in record you apologize I'm sorry I've hurt somebody bam that's it but he felt like he already did so I respect him for that but I think what has happened is middle America has rejected Hollywood and for me I kind of tend to agree a little bit because both sides does this they rush to judgment and they will throw stones at people even though them themselves like don't even look at each other does sin and have you know skeleton in the closet i think people have done a lot of things of looking at celebrity as a beacon a beacon of supposedly the influence uh, youtube is also they call public or video influencer or social influencer and that shouldn't be it and that means our society has left in terms of parenting, in terms of common sense. People are quick to judge right away. I mean, look at um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's supposedly interview that now it's not correct and everybody's retracting it to, with a tabloid. But everyone ran with it, saying that, you yeah. know. But again... It looks like middle America has rejected Hollywood and now is putting support with Kevin Hart. And now it looks like the upside is going to be number one for it. Uh, Kevin Hart's career looks like it might go up a little bit more with middle America. I don't think he wants to be a poster child with middle America. But where I am, it was, again, full pack. And for me, I do support him a little bit. I do know that you know homophobic what not should not be said, but he did say it 10 years ago. And 
it is sad that you have to explain to yourself and everybody else and people are too sensitive in terms of everything else um, we tend to as human being react extremely we react too much to the left and now we're going to be reacting too much to the right if we're going to have another president that's what happened with barack obama the right went extremely right and now with donald trump it's extremely left and every little details that we have said is we were getting the clash the class wars the race wars the gender wars and all the wars that we can because we as a society now is quick to judge and have opinions uh, Twitter and I think the social media has now begun to really it's a snowball effect one will say it then two and then three and four and five and six again I'm not saying that whatever Kevin Hart said was right or wrong but we're prosecuting someone and trying to fire someone because we don't agree with their political stance. While this is an entertainment, it's nothing about politics. It doesn't matter if he would have hosted it because he's not going to promote his views. The problem is the people that attacked him is promoting their views, so that's why they need to attack somebody else. So you attack somebody else because somebody attack you for your sexuality or your views. Hypocrite, it's being hypocritical. The Republican, Democrat does the same thing over again. It's like he did it. It's like a little kid, you know, it's like when I was a little kid and I got in trouble. Well, my brother did it too, so I'm allowed to do it. Stupid. It's wrong. It's wrong. We cannot take advantage or put people down just because we want to go up. And I think Kevin Hart was used that, and that's what middle America thinks. And for some reason, I think of it a little bit too. We are looking too much, uh, too much to celebrity to babysit our children. We are looking too much to celebrity to influence our thoughts we're looking too much at everybody else what they think but we don't look at ourselves what we think again i do believe that homophobia racism gender and everything like that that is all wrong we should be all equal we are not in a perfect world and if we want to ask to be respect sometimes it is both ways you want them to tolerate you but you don't tolerate them and i think that's the problem you bash one to get the other one i think we should be positive i think we should be saying this and this and this there's gonna be some people i mean i've seen a lot of people since i've been in youtube that have you know I have my opinion. They can't say, I think I disagree with your opinion. And then, boom, I'm an idiot. I 